Oh, hi, I'm Alan Chan, and I am the owner of my games. And I'm the... I'm uh, trying to make a YouTube tutorial on how to make a... Tree list that prints random alphabet into it in order alphabets. But um, I'm gonna make a special tree that can count duplicate as well. As uh, another way of transversal the tree list is the threaded tree. Uh, like the third tree is doing this way. This is a sort left node, only that count. There's like a thread and needle kind of thing. And so there's a branch of left and right all the time. Uh, church first, so yeah. So first of all, um, you create a new, um, first of all, um, you right mouse click, um, uh, new folder. Uh, um, count duplicate thread thread tree uh, <coughs> and click Java. Um, this is the Xplex Java uh, software that IDE that we can download with. Uh, switch. Try to create um, default workspace to browse this top, this one, set folder, launch, we launch again. So this thing will create a new Meta hold data holder that connects everything in the default folder. Uh, so, uh, you create a new input first text file, like the random input text that you're supposed to print the output. Uh, in a random order afterwards, so click this one, notepad, create a new text file, just name it anything as you want, that uh, have your own enter spacings, don't put in like this or something, that doesn't really work really well, or like this or anything. Because you have is a like really detailed coding that you have to specifically have to have enter space uh, with it. Um, this is out, out, not in order. I try to print it in order afterwards. Um, it doesn't matter which order, which order is it of actually, or which text file in alphabet. So this top. I just leave it this top file, I'll just name it as input and then uh, and then I'll to file new Java project inside your own default folder. So you can name it the same thing as you want. It doesn't matter. Us uh, count duplicate thread tree. And then new file, new package. You can even the same thing as you once in a while. And File new Java class. Uh, it had to be same same location as the package. You can name us tree Java class. So this is the Java object class. And finish. And let's name this as new 
Um, no. Java, no. Um, it's within the same package. Um, as I see, um, this is this. This is this. And sync, this sync is down here. And this, this is down here. And this is down all this node. It's just a text file in the end. Uh, and afterwards, you can um, draw this input in down here and copy files. So it connects us down here. It's the same thing. You just duplicate files. Uh, And then um, tree and click you can click tab to enter index or shift tab to go back um, to your own left side of the index. Uh, this is the better way of shortcut of coding. And you can click string file link string file link <coughs> string file link as uh, so your UR link. Uh, as you can go down here to find your own UR link, as I told you, where is it located? Click right mouse click on properties, and here's the link location of URL. Um, just how this um, left mouse click, drag, and highlight it. And right mouse, click on it and click copy, and con click on this thing, on uh, the quotation part, and Control V on it. It will give the partial link of set the last one. So just put in dash dash input dot period. TXT and uh, that means this this one down here the file convention name let's exit this so no need to click OK and click exit and don't click enter on here or anything like that also it doesn't really work like don't click enter like here or separate it this one straight line to it. And oh wait. This should be this right mouse click on that. It should be down here instead, sorry. You know tree list. The main tree list. This is the main construction class and this is the subclass and uh, yeah I just right mouse control cut before and paste it on control V and then this is the another syntax of compiling syntax that my professor at Brooklyn University had taught me from before um, it's a, it's more like an understandable, easier way of um, coding. It's like this one. Um, I'll just tell you what's the IOX 
expectation afterwards. But this is what the professor taught me from before. Um, another way of compiling your own codes is by doing this way. Um, public static void main. Um, string args tree t equals new tree uh, so this is like creating a new class um, variable Java class variable, and this is the main constructor class variable to um, what place down here mainly. And uh, this is you can put some sub methods down here. Then, after in the end of compiling, you create the new class and play the interface or output in the end, which is this playing from 1 to 17, that's in order, 1 to 17, and uh, yeah, that's how it works, uh, I need to input input java.io .file reader Uh, like you, you can Google search Java API to find out what you need. So Java I O dot file reader down here is to read your own file you are linked down. So I need this one down here. Here a string C file reader string file name um you are link um. So, let's import anything that you want. It's part of the Java um, file uh, buffer reader import Java IO. IO buffer reader is to edit your own text file in IDE and uh, Exception is IO exception. IO means input and output. Exception is in case you have errors. So that's why you need to add this one as throws IO exception. At least you can run something to find out if you have errors or not. I'm going to put this down here as well. Close I O exception and this one should at least compile that runs nothing. Yeah, see it runs nothing. This one is nothing, it's just it's say not used it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I mean, it was nothing, yeah. Um, so, string is, cr so on this right node, tree, actually don't do that yet. Um, I'm going to create a new node class that is like uh, create a new node class yeah create a new node class uh, like this is each node like each panel is each node um 
and each land crate and it's just a special class that looks like a node but it's just a java class you just store variables that is called node um so it creates new variables called string item uh, node left uh, node right uh, boolean left tab right tab you can put comma to create multiple boolean at the same time it's in the same syntax in x kind of thing uh and create create int it means integer means number um this is creating a, a java class within another java class called node at the same time uh, node uh, for so create a new mt um item first um it means string uh that's abc string just create all empty uh you don't have to create you don't have to you don't, you're not supposed to put node down here because you don't have to create a new variable oh it's, it's getting confusing and stuff it's, it's, it's not this it's not organized so uh boolean oh uh, no no don't put boolean sorry uh left tab equals false uh let's keep uh boolean means true or false um false just put false at first because you don't want to put true as you're supposed to run it first and it, you're not supposed to run it by itself it's supposed to be one of the you need or not but by default you just put us not running first and empty string and nothing you nothing child of another node this is more like a child node that's supposed to be empty not the not the parents node or the uh, root. Root means the top is of the parent. And you start at one because after count duplicate, if it did not run, it won't count by duplicate. But if it's count by one, it's not duplicate yet. It means like if it runs, it means it should have count as the as a as the first one and after the second time it means it's the second duplicate um, and this create this as another one uh, string data no directions I tom data left no right no left tag uh, left tag false uh, right tag false on count duplicate equals to one uh, this one is specialized for this one dot item and <coughs> this one is specialized as kind of like this one uh, node I actually don't like this this name it tree dot item or something like that. Tree means part of the node. This is part of the node, yeah. While tree dot left, for example. While um, you can name this down here as not empty string, so you can run it as node dot 
three the item only that can actually still does it without any directions as well. That's the only difference. Uh, you can name this as this one node class as um, this is the node class. So it would be more organized if you know what you're naming for. Uh, yeah, and then afterwards, this name it as no tree uh, equals no. I had to click no because no, no. Um, to run this, you have to know is the tree is empty or not empty. But this create no tree is empty first because it's the start beginning. And for scoping, this one runs down here as a scoping, which this scoping run inside from this one, while this runs after from afterwards because it runs from one to bottom. And this is the main constructed class, and this is sub method class that my professor taught me for a long time ago. And uh, another way of syntax compiling each other. So, uh, <coughs> you can put buffer read dot close you have to close the the java class in the end wait this spell buffer oh i didn't create oh okay yeah you have to create the um um buffer Reader, so you should name your own. You should name your own um You should name your own buffer reader afterwards. Um as a buffer read if you want to and you name it as naming conventions you want and name it as buffer reader file read as file reader uh, file name so this one read your own UR file link so the file file reader can read your own file URL link, and after you name this, you just Control C to copy this, highlight this, copy this, and Control V to paste it. So you can read your own um, file link. Uh, so this buffer reader is to edit your own text afterwards. And, uh, um, File read dot close so you close it afterwards so when you don't need it afterwards and you should run to test if there any errors but it just shows warning again that nothing is no variable is using that's why it means it's okay but he's I'm not finished yet sorry. Uh, and put a, this is your own subclass called um, this is the node subclass as a node method it's not the void method void method is just to do tasks but the void but the node method is just a it's a java class method yeah uh, string input temp means temporary 
It's temporary input. It means not the real actual input yet. Uh, no direction temp. Uh, no. Sorry, insert. So, uh, uh, so this is the node method, and this is called node from this Java class, which is from down here. I think I can screen it. And it's just needs a return method. Um, and it's just needs the return uh, method, so it won't give an error. Um, direction is what it is. So I just need to return. So yeah, so it won't ha highlight the underlying error. The red color error, underlying error. Uh, so I had to return the method after it return direction temp. Uh, and this one does not need to return. Yeah. And Yeah, um, so, um, creating insert method means inserting, creating own tree list of, uh, here, but it's not in order yet. Uh, creating own tree list from down here. Here, uh, if direction temp is equal to no, uh, how you need to the equal, um, you have to type double equal sign to say. It's a boolean equal sign asking is it equal or not. If it's single, it means it's not really boolean, to be honest. Uh, and if direction temp um, means by default, like there's no direction yet, it means, I it means, it's mostly it means there's no node. It means you didn't create any node yet. It means, um, you have to create a new um, node first. New, new node. Um, input temp. No. You can't you try an empty direction first because you're not sure it's left or right first while you're creating it. Um input means string as afterwards you can create down here that, that connects to down here, then connects to down here. Uh but first of all you could have test your own input text from down here even though this input is out out of order but I had to create a array list single array list to test it first but I was going to test it with the tree list instead um, because it takes too long to make a array, single array list so I don't have, so so I should not like make a YouTube video about it, it's taking too long. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna make a tree list. Meanwhile, I'll just test everything at once. Well, I'm supposed to test one by one, just in case it doesn't work. Uh, else, uh. And this is really important thing. This thing is this thing is not the compare to function. Uh, this is really important. Uh, this boolean statement is <coughs> it's not. Just left and right detection. Uh, it's not just left and right function. Um, like boolean of left and right function is this one can be one as true and zero as false as it's switching around. As it's going in order, less least from greatest. So, it's it, it, for example, if this is false, it'd be zero. Can be equal or greater than zero, which doesn't make sense. So that's what I mean. It's going least and greatest at the same time as going with the ones as true and zero as false. So this is zero means false always. Um, so I'll create the another else if function. And this is the going left directions. Left. And And this is the L statement as count as duplicate. So if it is four if else, it's four different statements. Um, four different statements. Um, if else. There's four different boolean statement that runs runs um what's we, what the task does afterwards. Uh this is the insert left tree with the six steps. So the first step is no child no input temp plus no no child temp equals no it means this one create a new child yeah Oh, you create a new child anywhere. Is this an imaginary line? Well, child left. So create the child left direction from the bottom down here. 
connects to the direction um temporary um uh, left. So I see it's pointing the left side down here. That's the second one. Uh direction uh, Oh, direction temp uh, left No, I'm oh, sorry. Um, direction uh, left equals child. It means if the left child, I mean, um, the parent child, well, for now it's called root, but you call parents afterwards if you have multiple tree nodes. And you point to the child. Um, it's kind of like an optical illusion that has by and go by back and then they place, like, just like going through each other. By playing least the greatest illusion or something. That's why it's kind of called threading. It's like going through each other. Uh, direction, temp, left, boolean, you can click down, space. And click true means you sh already passed by, then you should pass by again if you try to run it again. If it's left tag and child dot right then the fourth one oh. yeah this is true this, this is true means team is true. Down here means the fourth line of uh, and child the right equals direction temp. And direction. So this is going child right to go back up and ham input temp child dot left means go away the tree list or go back up to the another parents if it's not the root um, yeah it means can't go off the thing but <coughs> it's another it's the node method and the recursion method at the same time to be honest because this is recursion method and this is another recursion method like it's going back and forth, doing it around. Uh, I can copy and paste this, but I have to be aware what to rename it. It's the same thing, but it's just left and right <coughs> different. Oh, wait. Uh, So, um, so still, it's left, it's right again. It should be like all of them is right path. There's nothing really much to do with left. 
Acephalon, this one's opposite. Left, right tag, right. Um, to count duplicates, you just um, refer all as direction temp count duplicate plus plus means count by one by one. <coughs> it means count duplicate from here. Using this one, let's count duplicate instead of item. Uh, um, almost done. Let's exit this. This is. And this is private uh, static void in order print. No results. Uh, yeah, this is how this has to be main. It's some special, like old school Java class that has to be main down here. <coughs> and this is playing from left, visit, and right. As if Result dot left no it means go left as much as you can as until it doesn't pass through the <coughs> the empty tree that goes nowhere. So you go recursion again. In order print as it goes result dot left. So go at the most left until it ends like almost past through all the left. So this is left. I'm not sure this is down here instead. So I'll pass to the most left as a recursion means this goes back down here and goes back here until the most left until it is not not until it's known and stops at no. So it only goes and it's not no. And this type in int count, this create a new variable integer called counter x um, equals to one. You want to count how much duplicate as it runs on your own for loop. Int i dot and i It shouldn't be equals to up to greater than, uh, I mean, it shouldn't be i equals to lesser than 
I mean, it shouldn't be equals I equal to less than the result. Then count. Like you need to count how many of it from down here first. Then for loop, how many times runs down here? Um. So how many for loops should put to go at the same time? So counter a sys dumb out print crying please. Result item. So print the string item. Then um plus sign us print a dash just to make it more organized when you're printing out your own string. Printing print client means printing enter space as well as counter x. So I'll count how much counter x. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so count, uh, counter x plus plus only one at a time with the counter x. This is called visit. Uh, visit. Yeah, and then, uh, and then after you got to go to the, uh, and after you click, after you go to right, the most right side in the end. At the same time, within the uh, recursion, and this is the right. So I go in left to right. It's not going all left and going all the way right. It's going at the same time left to right, and then. I almost done ish. And then the last few lines is this one. I'll put equals to null. So string output equals to null. So you create a new output uh, string. While create a while loop. So this what it had to be in this main constructor. Main constructor down here from the tree. That's the book my, my professor used to taught me. And tree dot insert tree is from here. Don't create the node. Don't put node again down here. Also create a new new class, which you should give it an error in the end because you shouldn't have this. Is this disorganized? Like same variable with the same naming convention. But you're supposed to use this with reference from out more outside of the scope. <coughs> or from down here. Because this is the more main um, node that you have to use of all this input in this node. Main tree. Sorry. Output tree. And this is insert is the subclass from down here, which this is the main constructor 
from the tree. And this is the, the insert snow subclass that's also recursion at the same time down here. Uh, and in order to print tree. And this is print client. This after it is sorted properly, then um, after inserting it properly, uh, after you insert it properly, then you print client it. So it means read, it means print the output. Like you insert the tree then like you organize the tree, then you put in order. This is put in order, and after putting out the outputs. Uh, so I'll read the output until the this file is empty. While inserting it down here. While well, print client in and, and close and end and I should be done. Ish. Let's click play. See, uh, it put all in order. Uh, there's three A's in this folder. This um, so one, two, three A's duplicate. Three B B one duplicate one not duplicate yet, but this one C is one D is down here and down here's two D's and one E down here. Yeah um yeah thanks I th I'm pretty sure I finished already. I'm just gonna set you in. This how does the thread tree is sorting by the left node only, by through thread trees while counting duplicate at the same time. Uh, yeah, thank you. See ya.